Careful, sounds like you're breaking stuff, kiddo. Come evening, it's gonna drop below freezing, right? Okay, it's not working. back to Drybone's Garage. This episode is a part of a series where me and my dad take a 63 Corvair and a G-Body frame and combine them together to create a hot rod. In this week's episode we finally lay up the hood, so I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video. I think we want to make the next one a little bit wider. It's still pink. Uh, look at it again, kiddo. It's turning brown. Yes. Can I spread this around? Yes. Okay. Please. You got to spread the love around. Spread the love? Yeah, what was that from? Is that like a hippie movement thing? I don't recall. I was concerned I might have more juice than I needed, but... I think you're good. I think I was a little light, but... Yeah. This will be enough for it to be stiff enough for us to work it into the, into the hood. I'm used to it looking darker than this. It looks kind of light for some reason. I think we worked a bit of foam into it, but oh. we're not worried about the aesthetics on this. We just need an air dam, and this is it. This scares me. Why does it scare you? Well, I feel that. It's a fairly significant depression there, and there is texture in there. We might be fighting that. We'll be fighting this and that. I really want to throw, like, some quick detail, that final touch or something on this thing. Yeah. How did those come to be, do you know? Yeah, I know exactly how, but I'd be throwing you under the bus if I said anything. Throw me under the bus, I don't care. <laughs> you weren't paying enough attention to the uh, to how much poly was down or your air pockets, and I wasn't double checking your work. Oh, uh, yeah, I was having a hard time. Yeah, we got a couple more here too. Fail! <laughs> There's still a few places I'm not happy with, but I guess it is what it is. I guess we'll pull this out. This is how it's supposed to break loose. If we've done our job properly. So in theory, we'll be able to just kind of lay that in, but I don't like the way that's behaving. So maybe we want to get some blocks in here and we can lay that right in. Anything we throw in here is going to have to be something that breaks out fairly quickly and easily and is kind of delicate. And we should probably ought to nip it at the end. We want enough on this end that we'll be able to lay it into the leading edge of the hood. Why did we make a sheet? Well, if this was just an open pocket, well, what do you think is going to happen? Air would come in. Heat rises, right? Right. Okay. So you're going to have this huge area of heat right where your air cleaner is. And then all the air that may or may not be getting in the backside. In theory, I don't know how this is going to work because this is actually a little bit away from the windshield. But on the olds here, this whole area, and just like the Malibu, this area right here is kind of a pocket of high high pressure. All the air is just kind of pushing against that windshield and it wants to go somewhere. So if you have this void here, and that's gonna be a low pressure area because the engine's gonna be pulling, or lower pressure, this is to make room for the air cleaner that is. But doesn't that mean like, if it's gonna have to be like cut. We're gonna have to cut a hole. I'm gonna guesstimate right about here, well, about a 14 to 16 inch hole right about there. And then that'll draw air in, cool air from here to that. Now that said, I, I was looking at a 70s era Corvette that had the, what was it, the L72 hood scoop on it? L78 hood scoop, I forget exactly. But they had this area on the backside depressed 
where a person could open it up somewhere's in here i was looking at that thinking that might be kind of a not period correct but brand correct way of vacating some of the hot air that's going to be coming from that radiator and not being dramatic necessarily about punching holes all over this thing i don't know how much air is going to be getting underneath the car you know we're already asking that radiator to pull up from below i don't know what we're going to be up against as far as heat evacuation or warm air evacuation we may have some overheat problems if we don't ventilate this somehow so i'm thinking maybe in the future we might want to cut this off like right here someplace we'll have to see how things pan out once we've actually got this fit to the car but we could actually draw you know cut into the hood here with essentially this shape all over again and then open it up so this all would be open and then vented through the top of the the scoop which is that little depression something to think about we'll have to see once we have this thing on the road what it's going to do how it's going to do whether or not it'll behave with a minimalist approach or if we're going to have to get a little crazier with it this thing might just get a little bit sillier than we are already anticipating <laughs> this one's a big one that one's a baby I said this one's a big one oh but this one might be about the right height. And this is just not something I'd considered. Actually, that's nearly perfect. Now we do that, we're gonna end up with some of that sticking. We're gonna have to break that out. If we wrap that in plastic, that might minimize the exposure. And a little layer of plastic back there we can peel out. You might have to dig for it though. I'm getting a little fat to... <laughs> All right, so we'll try that. Now we could have done a gel coat, but I priced that out and it's a little on the rich side, so. like the color pink it's not offensive to me but not especially why would you wear pink i've worn it you've worn it mm -hmm. maybe not pink pink but you know kind of salmon like i said i wasn't going to stay pink long i know how many months has it taken us to get here two a lot longer than I ever imagined it, but I know that. Wasn't this supposed to be the quick way? The idea was this would be fairly quick and easy. But events would prove that to be false. Forgot to do that. To do what? Rather important step. Now we're gonna have to do it the hard way. The way that keeps trying to pull away so bad. There, how's that look? Almost like it was planned? Because uh -huh. it was, if not perfectly executed. We tried our best. We may want to get in there once this is laid up. I don't think we had quite as much juice in the in the seams as I wanted, but overall, this isn't terrible. Just have to see how it looks coming out. This is far and away, I think, the best product we've had to this point, and this is the most ambitious piece we've tried yet. It looks kind of wonky over on the end. That is kind of... I think that's the only part that bothers me. Yeah. If, if this were planned better, you may want to shove that in just a little bit deeper. Easy though. 
Pick it up just a bit, don't just ram it in, you know what I'm saying? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Once this is set up, we'll probably mix another batch, pour it in there, and then just walk it around the seams to pour it in there, and hopefully glue everything that isn't absolutely 100% down and into place the way we want it. And then when we're done with that, we'll add a ridge on the inside of this, and we'll call it good. Yeah, that's just taking more air. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Maybe pull that back out to where we had it. And hopefully we didn't damage the underside of the hood. Oh, oh, right there. That's gonna be a pocket we're gonna have to deal with on the inside. Okay, I think that's, I think that's it. I wonder if we shouldn't sand this edge before we do this. Yeah, that release agent, or wax, whatever you want to call it, works really well from metal to uh, to poly. Yeah. But I really starting to think we should have looked into other options. For a lubricant? This stuff is, I mean, obviously it's releasing, but I wouldn't call this ideal. If you look here, there's some kind of funky something, something going. Hopefully that's just the tape. I'm scraping the, the tape up that I put on that. Where's that aluminum bar? What did you do? Just kind of rounded the corners of this so it won't gouge the plastic, I hope. Careful, sounds like you're breaking stuff, kiddo. The only thing we want to break is the seal between the layers. This whole area here should be loose now. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Why? What? Air in the glass. Son of a biscuit. I thought we had that all taken care of. This side seems to be coming a fair sight easier than the other side did. Hmm. Maybe we should turn this puppy over. She does not want to give her on that scoop. Where are those wood blocks? I don't like what I'm seeing here. The problem is, we didn't put a mountain of meat in the scoop itself. Yeah. So I'm really afraid to start prying hard on that. But if we gotta break something, I'd rather break the, the hood. Than the mold. Than the mold. Because this hood already is showing it needs work. But that was like three, three and a half gallon. Of, or is it just two and a half gallon? Still at almost 60 bucks a bottle, plus the glass. And I saw where I told you to lift that, that tube up and you didn't. When I asked you to push that tube in, I said lift it up off of the off of the glass that we laid. If you look in there, you can see it all got pushed like right in here someplace. So this whole section is probably weaker than it ought to be right now. You know. Later that day, he had a pretty creative idea. Are you tracking what I'm thinking? Come evening, it's going to drop a little freezing, right? Right. What happens to water when it freezes? It gets larger. It expands. So if it gets down in those nooks and crannies and it freezes, huh. it may take a day or two. Push that puppy open, places we can't necessarily get in, and then slowly relax, get down in deeper, and freeze again, lift again. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, so it's been sitting out for a few days now, and I'm gonna see if it'll come loose a bit, so. Yeah. Wait. Okay, it's not working. We then tried to use a power washer to force the pieces apart.
So we got about as far as we're gonna get by the look of things. I got the water in as deep as I could. We should be below freezing tonight, hopefully. Hopefully there's enough in there where the freeze will push it off away. I don't quite understand. We were using a release agent and we followed the directions, but for whatever reason, it's fighting us. It's fighting us hard. Yes, it is what it is. You know, it's just a matter of time and attrition. Well, we cut that hood out and start over again. We work the mold a little harder and maybe use shoe polish like that one guy recommended. Really polish the tar out of it. And we'll see what we see. Okay, so this thing didn't freeze like we thought it would. Yeah, it didn't get cold enough. So we're gonna try and do it another way by cutting it. I figure we'll just slice this membrane, you know, somewhere close to the middle when we can actually flex the hood and we should be able to peel up enough where we should be able to break at least this end of the hood free and then just rotate it out of the mold. I hope we we'll see what happens. But we know we need to do work on the membrane. We know we need to do work up in here on the inside of the, the scoop. And we're going to be cutting the whole end of this anyway. So if we're going to have to do some rework, we have to do rework that is we'll just slit this, peel it out, and be done, rather than waiting days and days and days and hoping that the weather gets above freezing during the day and then drop below at night. Just do what we know needs to be done and be done. You know, she's coming freer, but she ain't free. I noticed these bubbles kind of started to move. Yeah, that's from the abuse that this membrane's taken. It's actually peeling away where it can from the hood. Membrane just got laid in to about an inch overlap, and right now it's broken free. So we're gonna have to go in from the inside and then work those corners and try and get material back into those openings. But with the water in there now, I don't know. We may have frightened ourselves there. What was potentially a brilliant idea ended up being less than ideal. At this point, Dad was about ready to write it off and start over. This is infinitely better than the deck lid was, but we knew the deck lid was going to be a pain when we did it.
that's what it looks like. Now this obviously isn't finished, but gives us a taste of what it will look like. I like it. I have to do a lot of body work on it, but the gist is there. Literally had to tear it out of the mold. What the heck is up with that? I don't know what this is. About. It's from that bar, I think. So, you know, there's a lot of body work we're gonna have to do, but it's got the shape. I don't know. That is still kind of a little bit upright for my blood. Yeah. I would have preferred to lean it back another five or ten degrees, maybe. Yeah. But it isn't obscene. And it doesn't clash with the lines of the car. It just isn't necessarily my absolute preference. For the car. I like the lines of that. I think that's pretty good. It looks cool. <laughs> looks crabby. Yep. The scoop looks big. We're gonna have to make a new logo, kiddo. A crabby burger, not a happy one. It does, from that angle, kind of look like it's frowning. Just slightly tipped off. Yeah. Well, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, then please make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to see more of what we're going to be doing with the Corvair in the future, please make sure to subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a splendid day and weekend whenever you're watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!